Hey, how's everybody doing? Thought I'd give a little update on the buggy. I'll tell you, it's been a ton of work to get to where I'm at. Um, I'm doing everything exactly the way I want. And, you know, best intentions, best intent, best uh, processes, uh, you know, all the good stuff. Um, I have a bunch of pictures. I guess when I do the video, I'll put some build pictures in there. But I'm working on the steering column. I made this little uh, adapter right here, and inside is a roller bearing. Uh, I machined a Delrin seat, and I'm using an aluminum collar to keep the shaft in place. Uh, I'll be machining an adapter for the steering wheel um, so that I can still use the spline assembly for that. In this area is where the power steering EPS unit will go. Um, so that needs to be installed. But what I did was is I machined the top and the bottom of the factory steering column to accept the roller bearings and the Delrin bushing. Um, and then what I'll do is, is since I have both mounting points, I will um, chop the center and I have the beginning end and I'll fill in the middle. Here's a little look at the um, steering setup I made. Okay, there's still some machining that's gonna get done. Uh, well, I'll be honest, when I did my calculations, I'm a little off at the bottom. So I'll be remaking this piece so that uh, the bottom of the cavity here actually will sit on the bottom of the bearing. Um, if it's extremely tight, there, there really is no lash on it. It's type of setup that's used in a lot of um, snowmobiles. Uh, it works very well as long as your steering axis, your steering angle isn't too far. You go too far, you got a problem. Um, doing it this way, um, inside here is a linear motion bearing. Okay, there's a three quarter inch 304 stainless steel rod, 304 uh, stainless plate, quarter inch thick, the rod's three quarter, the ends are all stainless, uh, half inch um, rod ends. I still have a lot of mounts. There's a mount that's gonna come up and grab the bottom of that steering column. Um, suspension, really, really nice. The suspension, I'm getting, well, it's unmeasurable, let's say, the bump steer. I'll put some gauges on it and really set it up when I do the alignment, but uh, it's working out fantastic. Um, yeah, the buggy's coming together. I'll do a little bit more on the steering then. Uh, plans are coming together for the engine. Looks at this point like I'm probably going to be running a um, probably going to be running a uh, turbo setup with EFI. Here's a buggy that I'm building for an incredibly nice gentleman um, that I started a while ago, and I figured I I'm going to get some more work done on on this Audi. But this is a buggy that I started building. Blasted down to white metal. Everything was taken off. Uh, five link long travel, built for the rear end. Um, kind of like my setup. Custom shaft inside the transmission instead of custom CVs. Uh, aluminum bracing. I mean, I, I got a lot of work into this. Custom brake setup. Okay, none of that's factory. It's off a Ducati, larger disc, hub, adapter. Um, this is going to be quite the buggy. Pilot steering wheel conversion, custom wiring harness. Yeah, we'll, we'll feature this one when it's done. Alright guys, little update. Kind of just a jumble of crap, but be cool.